Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is another exciting high growth treatment that will help get your hair nice and thick, stronger, healthier, and essentially help to stimulate dormant follicles in order to promote faster high growth. Now, you will definitely start noticing results after the first application. In fact, as you are applying this to your hair, you will notice how amazing your hair feels. Now, I made this similar video previously, but this one has a little twist to it and um, that will help you store this a bit longer. So, I definitely suggest that you watch and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now, let's get into the video, guys. Just like you can see here, you are going to need some oats now oats are extremely amazing for hair growth because they're just full of nutrients such as fibers as uh, uh, zinc iron omega-6 fatty acids polyunsaturated fatty acids and these essentially come together to stimulate dormant hair follicles and promote hair growth now if you use this regularly enough you will notice that your hair appears thicker longer stronger and generally healthier so it's definitely one of those treatments that you want to consider using on a regular basis now i use this quantity of oats i just add some water to it popped it on fire and i'm just allowing it to to cook for a little bit now you want to cook this until it's a nice and thick now the oats that i'm using are raw organic oats so they are a little bit sort of um what would I, what am i looking for they're sort of drier than you know your traditional oats so you might need to cook it a bit longer but any other type of oats will be absolutely fine for today's recipe so after i cooked it guys i'm just transferring it here to a bowl just like you can see this is the sort of consistency that i ended up with um so nice and thick now the one thing i would say while you're cooking this do not leave it and go away because it is going to burn and you might need to add water from time to time until you get the desired um, sort of texture so after that's done guys i'm just blending it here uh, using just the regular hand blender but it's fine to pop it in your blender as well if you wanted to so go ahead and blend it and again you might need to add water to blend if yours appears to be too thick because you don't want this to be extremely thick so this is what i have left behind essentially i'm going to go ahead now and strain it so i'm using a wig cap here to do this but feel free to use any other thing that you normally use to strain your diys i would suggest that if you are to use anything guys that the holes are very nice and fine just so you can remove all of the fiber um, that we've got in the oats As you guys noticed from the previous slide guys, I had mine a little bit thick so I went back and added some water to it, I forgot to record it um, just to make it a little bit runnier so it's easier for me to strain so you don't want to get your uh, consistency too thick um, because it will be very difficult to strain. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like after I have finished training it. Um, you can see it's looking very nice and thick. This is not the consistency that I'm going for, but that's okay because I'm still working on this anyways. Now, I'm just going to sh show you guys the twist that I was telling you at the beginning of the video. And that twist essentially is using corn starch. So I'm using about a tablespoon of that here. So you don't really need a lot. Um, but it's fine to use all purpose flour or cell raising flour if that's what you have in your house Now the reason why I'm using this this time is because I noticed previously that anytime I made this conditioner and left it to sit around for a bit it became really watery in consistency which sort of lost the effect that I was trying to have um, on my hair so I just thought this time using some type of thickener can help store it for a bit longer uh, in the fridge or even just at normal room temperature as well if you want to but I'll suggest that you store it in the fridge because it's less likely to spoil quickly uh, but yeah this worked like magic literally my conditioner was very nice and thick even after you know a long period of time of sitting around compared to if I did not use 
um, this thickener so it really really helped so essentially I combined that with my oats and I'm just transferring it back to um, the the pan that I'm going to use to um, boil this now notice there I added some extra water as well because it will get um, thicker as you're sort of boiling it again now guys do not leave it and go away because it is definitely going to burn so you want to be there and stir occasionally um you don't need to uh, you don't need to like do this for a long time so two minutes is absolutely fine and notice how that's getting even thicker um as you are sort of boiling it again so i added some more water to that because it was just a bit too thick and this is what i wanted it to look like so something that was not too thick not too runny and this consistency is perfect for me now while i was waiting for this to cool down guys i just fell asleep and essentially i didn't come back to this until the next day um just because i was just too tired to carry on with my with my hair so this is what it looks like the next day you can see it's very very thick and this is not the consistency that i wanted to go for so i'm just adding a bit of hot water to this and i'm just mixing um just to try and get that consistency back um but it was still a bit lumpy so i decided to use a hand blender just so i could you know blend all the lumps out and get that smooth sort of texture and it worked absolutely fine so this is the same thing that you would do if you were to store this and reuse so i'm now using i'm sort of adding a bit of olive oil here so about a tablespoon and combining that and that's pretty much it this is all nice and ready and look at that smooth amazing texture and this thing is so good for your hair like if you haven't yet tried this definitely definitely try it guys i promise you you're not going to regret it is it is absolutely amazing um for hair so moisturizing instantly as you are applying it to your hair you can feel the difference it's so so good now i'm just showing you guys here how i'm going to sort of apply it to my hair you can see my hair is very very dry and it seemed very knotted as well especially at the end so it was very difficult to sort of part it because it's just yeah it was just too too dry guys so this was definitely the treatment that i needed to sort of revive my hair back give it the moisture that it needed and also uh, help me sort of detangle because yeah it was very uh, dry and knotted so i'm just parting my hair here into like smaller sections um just because it's easier to work on my hair that way and i suggest you do the same for yours as well um and then and then i'm just going to go ahead and apply the um conditioner throughout my hair so i'm going to be starting uh, for my ends and essentially work my way to my roots now this is absolutely fine to apply to your roots as well because oats do help to stimulate dormant follicles so you need to make sure that you apply it to your roots also to reap the benefit now look at that definition in my curls guys like my curls were popping now the good thing about this conditioner is the results are instant essentially so even as you are applying it to your hair it just feels so so good like you can, you can see your curls definitely just melt away and yeah the, the, your hair is instantly moisturized and yeah this is just so good so 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 amazing Um, so after I did that guys it just like you saw I twisted and did like a little banty knot so that it doesn't dry out as I work on the next section now for this you don't need to, to sort of wet the hair before you apply it because of the fact that it's just so moisturizing anyways so it's fine to apply to though even if your hair is really really dry you don't need to uh, wet it first before you apply this and you will still get the instant moisture it is just amazing Now this beautiful jewelry that I'm wearing in this part of the video guys is from a company called Ana Luisa. So I will link everything in my description box so do feel free to check them out. 
Now, if you made it to this point of the video and you still haven't thumbs up the video guys, please, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already. It's funny because YouTube actually tells me that 90% of the people watching my channel are not subscribed. Like that's, that's crazy. Like if you've been watching me for a few times and you like what I do, please click the subscribe button. I will really, really appreciate it. Um, so at this point I had finished applying the conditioner to my hair guys and I had a bit of leftover So I'm just sort of applying that to my edges and the rest of my scalp and this is pretty much me done Now I decided to let this sit in my hair overnight um, Just because I just wanted to see what was going to happen if I left it sit in my hair and I tell you the results were hmm, amazing um, you don't have to leave, leave this in your hair overnight guys if you don't want to you can leave it for a couple of hours and rinse and it will still be absolutely amazing but I just loved the moisture like it's insane I'm just showing you guys what it looks like in the morning you can see we have lots and lots and lots of moisture um really really good curls are popping um so yeah really nice i just went ahead and rinsed this off with um warm water now someone's probably going to ask whether to shampoo this i would suggest not to shampoo it because essentially you're just going to undo all of the good work you just done by ripping the moisture out of your hair again when you've just sort of given it so much moisture so just rinse it with warm water everything comes out just so you can see here I have nothing left in my hair and yeah my hair looks very nice and shiny extremely moisturized my curls are still in can you believe that like so 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 good um, so yeah, this is pretty much it for me guys. I was just trying to show you what my hair looked like after I rinsed it off and the results are just so amazing. I do hope that you try this out and if you do, let me know how you get on. Um, so yeah, this is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks, bye.